In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to make an egg crate or a waffle model using ribs that are perpendicular to each other or uh, at 90 degrees. Sometimes, however, you might want to make a model where one set of ribs is maybe parallel, but the other set is rotating or not parallel or not perpendicular to the first set of ribs. So to do that, um, there's a few things you'll have to change. So let's go ahead and start, go to our Create tab, uh, Geometry, and then let's just make a pyramid for this example. So um, using the section tool, if we go to the G Create tab, go to the second icon there, the Shapes icon, the last tool under Splines is the Section tool, and go ahead and draw a section. Um, so in this example, let's say you make a series of vertical sections. I'll just make five. But you want the other set to be rotating at an angle. So I'm just going to delete this for this example. Um, you might want to rotate, so select Tools, uh, Array, and then you can array along a rotational axis. Let's go ahead and preview this. Let's center or zero all of these settings here real quick so we can see this a little better. Um, so for example, let's say we're moving this rib vertically. Let's make a, you know, the count five or six. Uh, and then we're rotating this rib around the X axis. So we're rotating as we're doing the array. Let's change the distance here a little bit say OK, you can see that these axes are going to be different than the parallel axes. So if we had, let's say, perpendicular uh, ribs going in one direction but rotating ribs in the other, there's a few things we're going to have to change. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these and just make one example here. I'm going to move this um, plane up and then rotate it. Let's move it down a little bit. So I'll just demonstrate on this one rib. Go ahead and go to your Modify tab select a section, say create shape, say OK. And we can delete that section when we're done. I'm just going to go ahead and hide this object as well. So I have my one rib that's at an angle. So the issue here is that if we offset the spline, it's going to create a, a sort of a funky shape. It's not going to be in plane with the rest of the rib. So we want to change this pivot so the pivot is aligned, first of all, with the axis uh, or the the angle of the rib, and then we'll want to rotate that rib so it's flat on the XYZ grid. So what we'll have to do is first make a surface out of this rib so we can build another shape and then match the two pivots. So the first thing we'll do is go to the Create tab, or sorry, the Modify tab, and then we'll add an Extrude modifier, which will basically give that line a surface. Uh, if it's a more complex shape, you might have to also add a cap holes modifier, which will then close any of the holes. Um, and the key is we want to make sure that the amount is zero. So we're not, we don't want an actual volume, we just want a surface here. Um, now let's go to the Create tab, and let's make a rectangle uh, that's aligned with this, the angle of this um, surface. Uh, but the key is we want to add auto grid so that the pivots can then be aligned to each other. So select rectangle, turn on your auto grid. Let's turn on our snaps and let's right click on our snaps to make sure we have vertex or endpoint selected. Go ahead and close that. And then just go ahead and draw the rectangle directly on that rib. You can see that the two are then aligned because of the auto grid setting. Once you've completed that, we can turn off the auto grid, go to the hierarchy tab. And we essentially want to, you can see the pivot for that original rib is uh, referencing the original XYZ axis, but the pivot of this, if we select local from the drop down, you can see is not referencing the XYZ axis. So I want to match the pivot of this rib to the pivot of this, ge this line geometry. So select, first of all, the rib, and let's go to the hierarchy tab. We want to affect pivot only because we only want to change the, the orientation of the pivot to match that other object. We then can go to Tools, Align, and then the Align tool under Align. And then we want to align that pivot with the pivot of the rectangle. So you, once you select the rectangle, this dialog will pop up, and you can change the Align orientation, the local axis, X, Y, and Z axis, so they align with the rectangle. Then select Apply and OK. And your grid, your pivot will then realign with the pivot of the rectangle. So when you're done, you deselect effect pivot only. Okay. 
If you ever want to see this, you can select up here and go back to local. So you can see now my local pivot is oriented in the same direction as the local pivot of this uh, rectangle. <clears throat> so now we can delete the rectangle. Let's go ahead and go back to the Create tab, make a plane, and then we'll draw that plane uh, on the grid. So it's flat on the grid. So now we want to align this pivot with the pivot of the grid, which will then flatten the geometry and rotate the geometry so it's aligned and parallel with that grid. So select the geometry. This time we don't want to change the pivot. We want to change the actual object orientation. Go to Tools, Align, Align, select the plane, and then again select X, Y, Z axis, and you can see that the pivot then changes. Select Apply, OK, and you can delete that original plane. If you go to the front view, you can then see that that, that plane is parallel to the plane of the ground. So I'll go back to my perspective view. Um, and at this point you can then de uh, delete the extrude modifier and uh, as I showed you with the um, other tutorial you can then offset and create your notches.